report of the new world order. Bitch, you crazy, let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. Yeah, long hair, I don't care. I still ain't get my hair braided, but you know, it ain't about how I'm looking, though. You know, when I get it done, I'm gonna be looking super official. It's about what I'm saying, you digs. Now, you got the FBI actually seizing documents from Trump's home in Mar-a-Lago, Florida. Um, he actually even issued a statement. My beautiful home is uh, currently under uh, Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach, Florida. It's currently under siege raided and occupied by a group of FBI agents. They even broke into my safe. Like, motherfucker, that's what, what you expect from a, from a raid. See, that's that like white privilege talking and showing. But nevertheless, uh, multiple news outlets have actually reported that uh, this FBI actually executed this warrant because they're probing into whether he actually took 15 boxes of White House documents, some of them being classified documents, from the White House after he left the presidency, which is a violation of the uh, Presidential Records Act. Now, of course, you got um, Trumpers and Republicans up in arms about it. You got um, Kevin McCarthy, who's actually the House Minority Leader, uh, saying that, you know, basically, he's gonna open an investigation into uh, Attorney General Merrick Garland, you know, somebody who was appointed by Biden and, you know, gave the okay for such a, uh, uh, such a warrant and search and seizure. Uh, he's gonna open an investigation into him if the Republicans win the House. So, you know, that shows you how petty that's going. For a lot of y'all motherfucking Republicans that wanna act like Trump ain't do nothing wrong and don't deserve that, um, I think, I don't know, y'all, I don't, I don't really think y'all think it with common sense, you know what I'm saying? I think y'all just really being bloodthirsty. Not even partisan, y'all just like really going hard for this MAGA shit. And clearly it doesn't matter if he lied about anything or did anything illegal at this point, like, is there anything, and I I want y'all to comment, is there anything that this man can do that would draw the line for y'all? Green War and graduation. For the new world, the Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So in Ukraine, you got the head of Ukraine state-run nuclear power plant, uh, Petro Kotlin, actually calling for a demilitarized zone that's five kilometers wide around the uh, Zaporizhia, uh, nuclear power plant now this is a it's spelled z-a-p-o-r-i-z-h-v-h-i-a -H -H you know what i'm saying so however you want to pronounce that or however y'all out there in that area of uh, europe eurasia uh actually pronounce it but nevertheless um coaching is saying like this is a very da dangerous situation you know essentially you know we we encountered something similar with the chernobyl plant uh however this is uh different we have actually six power units and there's actually a, a, a nuclear pool where, uh, you know what I'm saying? All of the power units have like, are filled with like nuclear materials, have a nuclear pool. All of this requires constant uh, cooling, which comes from the water pumps and they run on electricity. Now, he's calling for the ceasefire after like, you know, back and forth between Russia and Ukraine uh, over the weekend had actually damaged some safety equipment around the uh, nuclear site. Um, Ukrainian officials are accusing Russia of actually putting landmines around the uh, six power units, which uh, President Volodymyr Zelensky is calling nuclear blackmail. Green war and graduation. Peace report of the new world order. Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So you got the Ukrainian military actually uh, claiming that they're, they're moving to the strategic city of Izium in northeastern Ukraine as part of a counteroffensive to actually take back some parts that were taken by uh, Russia, uh, some parts of Ukraine that were taken by Russia. Now, um, meanwhile, you have the United States actually sending another billion dollars worth of weapons and military aid to Ukraine, uh, including some anti-radar missiles that are produced by Raytheon. Now, this is this would be the 18th time that the United States has actually sent uh, military aid and weapons to Ukraine ever since the start of the Russian invasion back in February. So. That's a ton of support. Um, no wonder that the, you know Russia feels like you know is is them against you know the West and not just Ukraine. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, they knew what it was. They were doing it as a preemptive attack against NATO, and you know NATO includes a lot of what's west of them, um, and also Australia and whatnot. But nevertheless, uh, you have that going on, and you know we are going to see what happens. Uh, uh, it seems like World War Three is brewing, like I've been saying. Green War and graduation. This report of the new world, though, the bishop greatly letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So the Palestinian Health Ministry actually says that three men, uh, three Palestinian men were actually killed in an Israeli raid on a house in the city of Nablus uh, in the Israeli-occupied West Bank. 
and uh, there were 40 of them wounded. Uh, seriously, uh, you got three of them, uh, actually four of them, pardon me, in a critical condition. So this comes as after a like ceasefire that actually took place on the uh, um, Gaza Strip that started Sunday. And uh, my apologies, because in my previous report, I said uh, ceasefire started on Saturday. I actually started Sunday. See, that ceasefire happened after uh, there were 44 uh, Palestinians actually murdered uh, from an Israeli raid with um, 350 of them being seriously injured. And it turns out that there were 1,500 homes that were actually destroyed in that raid. So you got people that are now homeless. And yeah, they're having a ceasefire, but what about these people who now, who now stranded, who have nowhere to live? And I feel like they're outside, unsheltered, in a war zone. Green war and graduation. Peace report of the New World Order, Bishop Grady Lay. Y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So uh, yesterday on Monday, you actually had hundreds of people uh, gathering in Midtown Manhattan, outside the offices of Friends of Israel Defense Forces uh, office where they had an emergency rally basically uh, in response to the ongoing bombardment by Israeli forces in uh, Gaza, on Gaza, you know what I mean, against Palestinians, essentially. And they're basically claiming like, you know, ceasefires are bullshit, you know what I mean, for me to summarize or whatever, and that they call it for the complete liberation of Palestinians because, of uh, Palestine in general, because ceasefires don't work. Uh, do they have a point? It seems so. Green war and graduation. Streets reporter of the New World Order, Bishop Grady Lay. Y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. So you have uh, a final draft being uh, brought up by the Uni European Union that actually would restore the 2015 Iran nuclear deal. Now, uh, if you remember 2018, President Trump had actually, former President Trump had actually unilaterally removed the United States from that deal, which actually prompted Iran to expand their nuclear activity. So. Uh, yesterday in Vienna, Austria, you had uh, U.S. and Iranian negotiators actually, you know, reaching a, a deal and agreement that, you know, it's not official yet, but they've come to terms where they may uh, get back into the deal and curb some of the uh, nuclear material enrichment that Iran has been doing in exchange for some relief from the U.S. sanctions on the country or sanctions against that country in general. Uh, now, you know, some of those negotiations in the, in, recent his, in the recent past have stalled partially due to President Biden keeping Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps on the terrorist blacklist. So um, they still haven't been removed from that blacklist. We will see how this ends up turning out. Green War and graduation. Please report out of the new world, though, the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So you actually have the Biden administration announcing that they are officially ending uh, Donald Trump's Remain in Mexico policy, uh, also known as the Migrant uh, Proto Protection Protocols or the MPP policy, which uh, and therefore will not be forcing asylum seekers to remain in Mexico while they await their asylum trials. Um, mind you, you have thousands of asylum seekers that were forced to remain in Mexico that have been subject to kidnapping, torture, rape, and other dangerous conditions. Um, now, this had actually been stalled because uh, in, in December, a federal judge had actually put an injunction um, that blocked Biden from actually removing the policy. Well, that injunction has actually been lifted. Supreme Court uh, earlier this summer had actually ruled that the Biden administration has the authority to actually remove that policy. So, um, you know, one win for, you know what I mean, those, uh, those immigrants that are trying to get into the country. And keep in mind, because a lot of y'all are anti-immigrant, but y'all got to keep in mind the history of the United States in their influence in some of these countries that these migrants are migrating from. You know what I mean? Like, you know, white supremacy is real. You can't just act like the past didn't happen. The United States has all of the resources um, that you might argue come from stealing, raping, and pillaging from other countries or whatever. So how wouldn't you expect those that are still starving in these other countries to want to flock here in the land of so-called opportunity? Green War and Graduation. Report of the New World Order, Bishop Grady Lay. Y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. Pardon me, it is a little dark or whatever, but focus on what I'm saying, not what it looked like. But nevertheless, you had a federal judge in Brunswick, Georgia, actually adding life sentences on to the uh, killers of Amar Arbery with, um, you know, additional life terms coming to the father and son uh, duo 
Travis and Greg McMichael and adding an additional 35 years of prison onto uh, their accomplice, William Bryan Jr., who actually like filmed the situation. And this is actually uh, coming as they were asking for the ability to actually serve their prison terms in federal prison instead of state prison because they felt like it would be safer. But that got denied. So yeah, you got to deal with all the motherfuckers in Georgia that already got it in for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Maybe y'all maybe y'all be, be separated from them or whatever, but you know, y'all got to deal with that hell. You know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all brought hell to a whole nother family. Now you got uh, Omar Arby's mother, Wanda Cooper Jones, that was saying like, you know, the Michaels didn't even say they, they're sorry. They didn't even apologize. So it shows you what kind of people uh, that, you know, took the life of her son, essentially. So, I mean, that's what it is, though. Green War and graduation. For the other new world, though, the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So, uh, in Maryland, uh, police officers have actually reached the wrongful death, death lawsuit of $5 million to the family of Anton Black, who in 2018 was killed when he was uh, pulled, when he was pinned down by three police officers and actually uh, tased and you know what I'm saying? And you know, the uh, medical medical people at John Hopkins ruled that his death was by asphyxiation. So it came from that incident. Now, um, and this came after the officers tried to like cover up the situation and said that, you know, he, the uh, Anson Black, who was 18 years old at the time, was on drugs and exhibited superhuman strength and all of that. You know how they try to do black people or whatever, justify their fears and their uh, hasty, violent behavior towards us. Nevertheless, um, you had that uh, uh, along with that agreement coming with Mar uh, three coastal towns in Maryland agreeing to adopt, to change their police policies and adopt measures that um, would use less excessive force essentially. You know what I'm saying? So they're just gonna change their, their, their ways and their behavior. And that's kind of where the change when it comes to these police abuse needs to start. It needs to start administratively, along with them coughing up that bread. Green War and graduation. Street support out of the world, though, the Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. I had to take it into it real quick. But uh, in Cuba, you actually have at least one fire firefighter dead and 14 people still missing after a massive fire at an oil storage facility uh, took place. Um, officials say that the fire started on Friday when lightning struck uh, the oil depot. And, you know, the massive fire has now crept onto like a third storage tank. Um, this is an island that heavily relies on, whose electricity heavily relies on imported oil. So, you know, they got to store that. So this is a huge problem. It's one of Cuba's worst environmental disasters in decades. So, you know what I mean? Keep uh, those Cubans out there in your thoughts and prayers. Uh, this fire threatens to have like rolling blackouts uh, throughout the country. So we'll see how this goes on. But the, uh, the, deep, the lightning struck happened in the, uh, in the in the depot, which is in the western province of Matanza. So if you are out there, you know what I'm saying, stay woke and vigilant. Green War and graduation. Please report out in the world, though, the fish is great to let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. Over in the Philippines, you have police actually arresting um, former vice presidential candidate, scholar, and activist Walden Bello over cyber, cyber libel charges um, that apparently were waged by uh, Jeffrey Tupas, who's actually a member of uh, Vice Presidential, uh, Vice President Sarah Duterte's cabinet. Now, keep in mind that um, he, he uh, filed this uh, cyber libel suit last year um, while um, while the campaigns were going on, and said that Bello actually said something, allegedly said something about him uh, on Twitter, essentially. So. He, um, Bello posted bail, you know, he even made a statement saying that, um, you know, these, these people are mistaken if they think they can silence me and suppress my free speech. Uh, keep in mind that, uh, Sarah Duterte is the, is the daughter of Rodrigo Duterte, who was the former president and president for years, and whose government has had a lot of human rights violations, a lot of bodies he caught in the name of, like, you know, fighting a drug war, uh, but it was a lot of indiscriminate killing allegedly going on with this drug war, with this drug war. And even people who were selling drugs, it was like some people just didn't deserve to die, like, you know what I'm saying? So that, that tells you what type of regime um, people are still dealing with. Duterte's uh, strength and habits are still running through that cabinet, it seems like. We won't graduation, though.